So you've seen this little camera all over the place and now you want to learn how to use it to live stream to Twitch. Look no further because in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to use the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 not only as a webcam but also as your new IRL camera for streaming on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook and more. Before we get started, I very quickly wanted to say that this video is not sponsored. I just really love the product and a lot of people have been asking me questions about how to use it to stream to Twitch. And after figuring it all out, I wanted to put it all together in a little video guide for you guys to watch. If you're not already familiar with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, it is the latest and greatest pocket-sized vlogging camera with a built-in gimbal. And it can shoot 4K resolution with up to 120 frames per second in 10-bit color. My absolute favorite things about this camera, aside from its tiny size, would definitely have to be the face tracking and the natural depth of field, which sets it apart pretty drastically from any smartphone camera that I've used before. I find that the Pocket 3 is a bridge between using a full camera setup for quality and depth of field versus using a smartphone camera for simplicity and not having to carry around a ton of heavy equipment. Now I've only had this camera for about a week, but I can truly say that it was money well spent. I found myself going out of my way to leave the house just to take photos and videos with this little thing because of how simple it is to use and because of how good the footage looks at 4K60 resolution. Even at nighttime, this little thing is a beast. Now I plan to make a full video about my experience with the Osmo Pocket 3 once I've had a little bit more time to play around with it and get some more footage. So keep your eyes out for that. But for now, let's dive into the video. The first option we'll be talking about in today's video is using the Pocket 3 as a webcam on your computer or laptop. Not only is this great for live streaming on Twitch and YouTube, but you can also use this in your everyday life for Discord calls, Zoom meetings, and more. To get started, pull out your Pocket 3, attach the tripod mount to the base of the device, and then screw in the tripod. You'll then want to set it down somewhere where you wish to use it as a webcam. These accessories are included with the Creator Combo, which I highly recommend over the standalone device as it also includes a microphone, among other things. But if you have your own camera tripod or boom arm, you can attach the Pocket 3 to that instead. Plug the included USB-C cable into your Pocket 3 and your computer. Make sure to use 3.0 ports if you only have USB-A available. After connecting the Pocket 3, you're going to see a pop-up on the camera's touchscreen where you can choose to either transfer files or use it as a webcam. Select webcam and you're good to go. While using the Pocket 3 as a webcam, it's worth noting that you will be limited to 1080p resolution and up to 60 frames per second. You'll still have access to face tracking and you also have full control over the white balance, exposure and more using the Pro Mode which can be accessed by swiping from the right side of the screen. Regardless of which platform you'll be streaming to, you're going to need to connect your Pocket 3 to your smartphone using the DJI Mimo app. If you're on Apple iOS, go ahead and download the DJI Mimo app from the App Store. If you're running Android, you'll need to download the app directly from the DJI website, which can be found in the description. Once inside the Mimo app, tap on the camera icon. You'll need to turn on your Pocket 3 and then select it from the list of devices on your phone. Follow the instructions and now you're all set. If you're a YouTube or Facebook streamer, getting set up with the Pocket 3 is super straightforward and simple because the DJI Mimo app has built-in integration with both of these platforms. However, if you wish to use overlays and alerts in OBS, for example, you're going to need to skip this and head over to the next part of the video. To begin, open up the DJI Mimo app on your phone, turn on your Pocket 3 and swipe in the viewfinder until you get to the live stream section. From here, you will be able to select either Facebook or YouTube and various settings depending on which platform you're streaming on. It is worth mentioning that for Facebook, you're limited to a maximum resolution of 720p and can only stream to your profile, not a page. However, this can be easily bypassed by using RTMP, which I will cover later in the video. If you want to use the Pocket 3 to stream to Twitch and you're like me and want to keep all your overlays and alerts from OBS, you're going to need to use something called RTMP. Looking into how to stream with this device was actually my very first time using RTMP and it can get a little bit confusing. If you want to skip the DIY on setting up RTMP, I've put a link in the description to IRL Tools, which is a paid service that can get you up and running straight away. 
For simple streaming setups where you only need to input your camera into OBS on your PC at home, you can use their $10 a month plan that gives you an RTMP relay. IRL Tools was super kind and set me up with one of these to test out for you guys while writing this tutorial. For those of you with more complex setups who would like to run OBS remotely in the cloud, you may be interested in one of the higher plans from IRL Tools. This type of plan would come in handy for when you're traveling and don't want to leave your PC turned on at home, or perhaps your home internet just isn't the best. Their basic plan at $60 a month gives you OBS in the cloud plus a ton of options, but it is limited when it comes to how many browser sources you can have in your OBS. So if you have a lot of sources and such, you'd need the $80 a month plan. Regardless of which plan you select, getting set up with the Pocket 3 is as simple as copying the RTMP URL given to you and pasting it into the DJI Mimo app under the RTMP section. Next, you'd want to select which resolution you'd like to stream in. You can stream up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Once you're satisfied with your settings, hit Start Livestream and then open up OBS. To add your new RTMP to OBS, you're going to want to add a new media source. Untick the box that says local file, and then paste your RTMP link into the input box. That's it, you're all set up. Now you can customize your OBS overlays to your liking and even look into getting set up with something called No ALBS, which can be used to control your OBS scenes with chat commands and automatically put you on a BRB scene if you're experiencing low bit rate. The first free way to stream to Twitch using the Pocket 3 is by doing so directly without using OBS. This means that you won't have any alerts or scenes and if you get disconnected, your stream will end. Head on over to the Twitch Ingest Recommendations page. A link to this will be in the description. You can select your region and copy paste the RTMP URL given to you into your DJI Mimo app. The stream key part of the RTMP URL can be replaced by your own stream key. You can find this in your Twitch dashboard. The final way to stream to Twitch for free is by setting up an RTMP server yourself on your computer. This part requires patience if you're unfamiliar with this sort of thing like I was, but it's actually a lot easier than it sounds. To start with, you're going to need to download a program called NGINX from GitHub. A link to this is in the description. On the GitHub website, select the code button and then click download zip. You'll then need to extract the zip folder onto your computer. Next, you're going to need to do some port forwarding using the admin panel of your internet router. Open up your browser and type 192.168.1.1. If this doesn't open up the admin panel, you will need to do a bit of googling to find out which address works for your router. Most commonly, port forwarding will be found under the advanced tab in your router. Now, I've already filled all of this out and my panel might look a little bit different to yours, but it should be the same nonetheless. Click the Add Custom Service button, give it a name such as NGINX, and add the port number 1935 anytime that you see port mentioned. To get the IP address that you need to input, open CMD and type IP config. Hit enter and look for IPv4. Input this into the IP section. Hit apply and then restart your router. If this does not work, you may need to contact your ISP and request that they opt you out of CGNAT or it won't work. Open up the folder that you extracted the NGINX download into and run the NGINX executable. It will look like nothing has happened, but it will show up in your task manager if you've done everything correctly. Open up OBS and add a new media source. Uncheck local and input the following. Make sure to replace your IP with your own IP address. You can find this by Googling what is my IP. Keep in mind that this IP address is different to the one that we used in the port forwarding section. The final step is to copy paste the RTMP address into the DJI Mimo app. Select what resolution you want to use, hit start livestream, and if you've done everything correctly, you should finally see your camera's video feed show up in OBS. If you made it to the end of the video, that should hopefully mean that everything was working for you and you're now able to use the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 as a webcam or to stream to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and more. 
If you're having issues getting set up or you just have some questions about the Pocket 3, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help out where I can. That's it for today's video. I really hope that I was able to help you get set up with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. If this video helped at all or you just like to see more content from me, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.